He hit the three home runs in 25 at bats. He had had only two home runs in his prior 1057 at bats. Two strikes to count. Orozco to Steve Sachs. Who brought an eight game hitting streak into this game. And the fastball for a ball, one and two. When he hit his first home run this year, Joey Malfitano, the third base coach, told me before the game that he did not even attempt to shake hands with him when he rounded yeah, third. I can understand why. He broke his arm last year in a high five. Broke his thumb, yeah. <laughs> and there's a ground ball to the shortstop, Johnson. And Sachs is out. Joey said, uh-uh, not me again. So two men away, and Ken Landro the batter. Landro one for four. There Ken you see Landrow. Joy, third base coach of Alpha Town, former Major League manager. Man, what a nice guy he is. Oh, yeah. He wore that cast for a couple of months, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he sure did. You know, that happened to me one time in 73. Not that I broke my thumb, but Bake McBride came in with a game-winning hit. And I was the on-deck batter, and he gave me the <laughs> high five, and he drilled my right thumb back to my elbow. Didn't break it, but I was out for five days trying to shake hands. Live to deep right center field. Mookie over there, and he makes a catch. So Landro and the bid for an extra base hit is turned away as Mookie Wilson runs it down. So in the bottom of the 10th inning, the Dodgers go 1-2-3, and the score at the end of 10, the Mets 3, the Dodgers 3. Now here's a word from Garcia Vega. Here he comes now. You see anything suspicious? I don't know. Keep staring at a cigar like there's something different about it. I'll bet it's the wrapper. Huh? Yeah, most cigars don't use natural leaf wrappers anymore. Now, gosh, your Vegas still gives you the rich tobacco taste of natural leaf wrappers. He's still staring at it. Hey, Jimmy, go on over and give him an honest cigar. <laughs> Gasha Vega, still an honest cigar. He's doing it again. Coach that girl runs in, says there's a guy up front talking to the lobsters. Sure enough, he's up here practicing his sales pitch. He says to him, hello, I'm from the Southwestern Bell Yellow Pages. I tell him, don't count on their business. They only got about 10 more minutes to live. As for me, I use the 9X Yellow Pages. Everyone in town uses it. I'd be a fool to use any other book. I tell him he's wasting his time, but if he wants to keep rehearsing, I've got some fresh swordfish in the back that are pretty good listeners. There's only one official Yellow Pages for New York Telephone, the 9X Yellow Pages. Right now, your body's thirsty for more than water. Do what you want and only buy it like you never have before. Fresh kids, Gatorade is thirsty. So go and give your thirsty body what it's feeling thirsty for. Fresh kids, Gatorade is thirsty. Gatorade Thirst Quencher quenches the thirst in your throat while it helps put back the potassium fluids and minerals your whole body's thirsty for. Quench Gatorade is thirsting for that deep down body thirst. Solid Gold, one of TV's hottest music shows, presents a very special hour with the one and only Frank Sinatra. Join host Dion Warwick for this rare TV appearance by old Blue Eyes himself. Tomorrow morning at 10 on Solid Gold. And coming in for a Solid Gold performance, Tim McCarthy. That's a lot of pressure on me now. And speaking of pressure, Danny Heap has met it well. He has had a base hit in every game he started in left field. This being his ninth, he's one for four tonight. Struck out a couple of times. Every Met in the starting lineup has struck out at least once, with the exception of Hernandez and Dykstra. So seven of the nine have caved at least once. Top of the 11th, three to three. And two to Danny Heap. Six hits for the Mets, seven for the Dodgers. Three errors by the Dodgers, one by the Mets, and all costly. Slider is low, one and two. Ken Allen in this ballgame reported to spring training at 231 pounds, 15 pounds overweight. Some of his teammates removed a wide load sign from the back of a truck and hung it over his locker at Vero Beach. Can't get away with anything. A 
know, the clubhouse will not allow you, not the clubhouse itself, the guys in it. Slider gets it. So Ken Howe retires his fourth in a row. One out. Third pitch up a second strike as he uses that hard slider to get Danny Heath. Ken from Detroit, Michigan, will be facing Ray Knight from Albany, Georgia. So once again, the battle of the blue and the gray, huh? The gray of the Met and the blue of the Dodgers. Strike one. of these relief pitchers with a chance to win their first game of the year. Fly ball to center field and playable. Landro broke in, now back. Two out. Five in a row retired by Howell. Second baseman, Tim Tuffle. So Tim Tuffle the batter, Mookie Wilson on deck. If you remember when Wilson pinch hit for Gooden back in the ninth inning, he remained in the game. Dykstra left, so the pitcher is hitting in the number one hole. Tuffle one for four. Strike one. Biggest pitch in the game is strike one, Ralph. Get that advantage of being out in front that sets up your other pitches. Just misses one and one. That's why catchers are trained whenever they're in doubt. Of course, you don't have to, it's not a steadfast rule, no call of the game is, but you're trained that on all even counts, first pitch, one and one or two and two, throw the pitch that the pitcher can get over the best. And he got that one over, it's foul back, one and two. Right now, Al is getting both his fastball and hard slider over in good spots. Any a graduate graduate of Redford High School in Detroit, no relation to Robert, of course. Pitched for Tuskegee Institute down in Tuskegee, Alabama. Roy Lee Jackson, an ex-Met, and now in the San Diego Padre chain, pitched at Tuskegee. That's where George Washington Carver invented peanut butter about 100 years ago or so. Well, that's one of the great inventions right there. So was that for a pitcher. That slider on the black. Six in a row retired by Howell. And after ten and a half innings here at Dodger Stadium, it's still three to three. Now here's a word from Express Mail. This is the symbol of excellence in worldwide delivery. This is Express Mail International Service from the Post Office. For $23 for a one-pound pack, We'll deliver to over 40 countries around the globe, usually within just one to three days. So next time you have to send something a long way in a short time, use Express Mail International Service. We deliver excellence for less. Now Exxon brings you the power to overcome knocks and pings, to end hesitation, to clean fouled fuel injectors, Introducing new Exxon Extra Premium. Its high-octane power formula with detergent additive XCL12 keeps you running smooth. Move up to new Exxon Extra with XCL12. Come on, Dodge boys. Sell me some fun. Announcing the lowest financing Dodge has ever offered. Yeah. 5.8 financing on every new 86 Omni in stock. Or choose 6.8 for 60 months, and your monthly payment can be as low as 119 Now that's fun. And more. 1,000 cash back on Lancer ES. 1,000 cash back on Ram Chargers. 500 on all new U.S. built pickups. Cash back or as low as 5.8 on all new 86 Dodge Omni. Dodge boys They do. With real American value. It's up to the relievers, bottom of the 11th inning. Orozco has retired six in a row, as has Ken Howell of the Dodgers. Each pitcher has struck out three. Both offenses have been bogged down. And Dave Anderson, who replaced Bill Madlock in the ninth inning, is the batter. Dave 
Tonight batting 244, four doubles, and five RBIs. Three to three, bottom of the 11th inning. Jams him with a fastball, and he fouls it back. Orozco lost his footing out on the mound. Dwight Gooden and Oral Hirschheiser started this game. Gooden went eight innings, striking out seven, walking two. Hirschheiser pitched nine innings, striking out nine. Make that ten and walking two. Curve ball is a strike, 0 and 2 to Dave Anderson. Well, as is normally the case, we have a lot of celebrities coming in the booth. Just saw Tom Snyder ducked in to see us. Ralph, I'd never met Tom before. I had not met him either. Big baseball fan. A little punch shot to right foul. Still 0 and 2. In this ballpark, they have an unusual situation where they have box seats down on the field level, almost like a dugout seat. And the movie stars like those seats as you look at them right now because people can't get to them. You will see a Mr. Grant out here or Milton Burrow or whatever. Rubbing shoulders with celebrity. Yep, Tinseltown in all its glory. Breaking ball outside, one and two to Dave Anderson. Dodgers scored all of their runs in the sixth inning. Johnson dropped a pop-up and a two-run single the big blow by Greg Brock Anderson stays alive I just ran into Orlando Cepeda's son down there gosh I remember when he was a little toddler toddling around back in 67 Orlando Cepeda the MVP of the Cardinals that year his son is now pitching for a local college here in his first year Cha-cha-cha. Daddy could really hit. Oh, man, could he? Hmm. Still holds the record for most home runs by a Latin. Three, 379, I believe it is. Tony Perez or Perez uh, has a chance to break it. He's one back of it. Mm -hmm. The Mets took a lead way back in the first inning. Two throwing errors, one by Mariano Duncan, the other by Bill Madlock, led to two runs. Then Daryl Strawberry drove in the tying run in the seventh inning with a double. That's been the extent of the scoring. One and two to Anderson. Jam shot to right. Tuffle got a hurry. Safe at first base. Tuffle, not knowing that Anderson can fly down that line, took too much time. And the call is a good call. First base umpire Paul Rungi. Right here is the play. And right here, he's going to call him out and then changes his mind into a safe call. And now the winning run at first base with no one out on the infield base hit. Ralph, I thought you explained that very well. Tim Tuffle, not making any excuses for him, does not know the speed of Anderson. Should, but doesn't. And certainly didn't then and didn't play that ball like he did. Anderson's got an infield base hit. Mike Marshall, one for four. I guess you're trained as a second baseman to lay back on balls because you can afford to do it, but Tim got caught laying back just a little bit too much then. Well, Marshall, the cleanup batter, or actually the fifth hitter in the order, but their power hitter is in there. Mets are in looking for a possible sacrifice. He's not funny. Swings and misses 0-1. Not with Socha on deck. A Roscoe left-handed pitcher. Ray Knight even with a bag of third playing in tight. Yep. Marshall's going to try to hit a ball out of the ballpark and end this tilt. He is the Dodgers' most prolific power hitter. Anderson with good speed at first base. Ground 
Pass toward third. Ray Knight on a beautiful stop. Safe at first is Marshall. What a play Ray Knight made. Boy, that was a nasty hop. One out. Hmm. Well, unless you've played third base, you don't realize what an outstanding play this is. The ball top down to third. Ray gets it on that half hop. The throw a little high to second. Tuffle makes the catch and then throws on to first. But Marshall beats the play. But Knight making the good play to pick up the lead runner. That last shot, that last shot showed you exactly how tough that play was. Mm. Take soft hands, you got to give with the ball. Ray Knight continues his fine work at third. Here's Mike Socio with Marshall at first. Tim McCarver along with Ralph Kiner and Steve Zabriskie. Steve-O down on the field now. He's doing flip-flops every three innings. Breaking ball outside, 1-0. and Socia, one for four on the night. He singled for the first hit of the game. Back in the second inning. Fly to left field. Popped out to Ray Knight in foul territory and grounded to second. He hangs in tough against left-handed pitchers. Last year he hit 296 with seven home runs and 53 RBIs. And as you guys pointed out earlier, He's tough to strike out. There goes the runner, and the fastball is fouled away. So the hit and run on. Tom Lasorda realizes he's tough to strike out. Hit and run was on right there. Marshall's not a base dealer. He does have one stolen base and one attempt, and that might have been on a failure of a hit and run play. He doesn't run that well. But the foul ball and Marshall back to first. Marshall had three stolen bases last year. But he had 22 in 1979 for Lodi. That was before he had his foot off. Right? Yeah, that's right. 21 the next year, and then had that between the middle toes he said that was a very uh, severe painful operation that he went through a lot of nerves in your feet especially his that's why He's they call him big feet big Four. foot there goes the runner line base hit right field strawberry in the field the ball and marshall goes all the way to third tuffle covering Well, it's a hit and run play, and Tuffle, the second baseman, covering on the play. He can't get back to it as it goes right through his vacated position. And the hit and run setting it up for the Dodgers to have a runner at third base. The runner there is Marshall. He represents the winning run in the ball game. Sosa is a runner at first, and the batter is Greg Brock, who got the big two out, two ball, two strike, base hit to drive in two runs back in the sixth inning. I think Greg will not be allowed to hit here, however. Brock being called back. The Mets now have the option of walking the batter to load up the bases for force play at any base chance at a double play and we'll see how they'll play it well they've got Reggie Williams the young right-handed hitter they've got Bill Russell and that's gonna be the pinch hitter ropes the Dean of Dodger players so Bill Russell is off the bench to pinch hit for Greg Brock you got to remember Russell handles the bat so well that a squeeze might be a possibility here. Behind Russell, you have a right-hand batter in Cesar Cedeno, so we'll see how Davey wants to play it. You can walk Russell. Yeah, the run at first base does not matter. The infield is in. The outfield is in. The infield does have the opportunity to go for the double play, however. Runners at first and third and one out. Infield has dropped back to halfway now. Three to 
three, bottom of the 11. Breaking ball is low, 1-0. and oh. If you're the runner at third on a squeeze play, you do not want to break too soon. If you break too soon and the pitcher sees it, he'll pitch out or hit the batter. Or throw it inside. That was Casey Stingle's theory on Knock the him down. Uh -huh. There goes the run of the squeeze. He's going to be successful. Will it roll foul? No, the Dodgers win it four to three. going to be scored a base hit for Bill Russell and an RBI on the squeeze play. Well, it couldn't have, been, couldn't have been butted more perfectly. The only option the Mets have is to let it roll and hope that it goes foul. It stops two inches short of being in foul territory, and the Dodgers win it in extra innings. Perfect by Bill Russell, who has played in more games as an L.A. Dodger than any man in their history. Nothing you can do about it. Dodgers winning by a score of four to three. Well, they say that baseball spans all ages. Two young pitchers start the game. And Mr. Clutch, the guy who's been in a Dodger uniform for 18 years, ends it with a base hit. Ralph and I will be back with the wrap-up right after this. Now, here's a word from Meineke Mufflers. 